One man is not going to let his disability stop him. He is an athlete and is trying to bring awareness to his unique sport. 27 News reporter Kelly Stegman spoke to the inspirational young man today. Kelly, what makes him so different? Well, Lane, he's a wheelchair bodybuilder. And when Nick Scott was in high school, a car accident broke his back and left him paralyzed. The doctor said he would never walk again. But through years of rehabilitation, he can walk short distances and competes as a wheelchair bodybuilder. Within two years, Scott competed and guest posed in 10 shows and recently beat out all able and disabled male bodybuilders at the Rocky Mountain Championship as best male poser. Scott hopes to soon go professional and is trying to turn his website, wheelchair-bodybuilding.com, into a nonprofit organization so he can help fund the dreams of other wheelchair bodybuilders. I'm going to convert wheelchair bodybuilding to a nonprofit so I can raise money to help like a lot of the guys just don't have the funds to be able to fly and like get hotel rooms to compete. So if I can help them with that, the sport will grow. Scott says that life isn't about having a glass half full or half empty. It's just having a glass that is enough to be thankful about. Lane. All right, thank you, Kelly. And tonight on our Night Beat, we'll talk more to Scott and show you some of the video of his performances. Plus, an inspirational athlete wants to pass on his message of hope to others. Good evening, I'm Lane Baker. One man is not going to let his disability stop him. He is an athlete and is trying to bring awareness to his unique sport. 27 News reporter Kelly Stegman has more now on the story of this inspirational young man. Nick Scott is a bodybuilder, but unlike most of his competitors, he is in a wheelchair. An accident almost 10 years ago left him paralyzed. They told me I broke my back and I was paralyzed and they bluntly told me I would never walk again and my football days were over and that was it and then I was just left devastated and the main question I asked myself was like why me? Scott was depressed for a few months before his outlook on life changed. I felt like a freak and you know I thought everybody was looking at me and they were all supportive but even when I, I barely went out because I didn't want people to draw that attention something clicked. If I couldn't do nothing, I wanted to be stronger than everybody. And that's what I did. And that was the turning point. He started entering powerlifting competitions in 2001. With great success, he then looked into wheelchair bodybuilding. With limited resources on that, he decided to do it on his own and created the main website, www.wheelchair-bodybuilding.com. It wasn't easy. Scott's message is clear. Everybody has problems and everybody has obstacles that they have to face. And we have to find it within ourselves to overcome that because it's really about it's not if your glass is half empty or half full you should be just grateful that you have a glass and no matter what comes in your way you should find a way to just make things work and that's what life's really about his next move is to make his website nonprofit so he can raise money to help other wheelchair bodybuilders attain their goals in ottawa kelly stegman 27 news to get to Nick Scott's wheelchair bodybuilding website, just go to our website at ksnt.com and click on 27 News Link. The